Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm looking at the Series 1 NECA Real Toys 300 King Leonidas figure. I didn't even know NECA made this figure. I saw it the other day, went ahead and picked it up. Right around that $20 price point, I got mine off eBay. Um, I noticed some of the other ones were going for around that $40 range, which is a little surprising for NECA. But um, I do have the Figma um, style 300 Leonidas figure that I want to kind of compare this to. Uh, I'm not a, the hugest fan, but I just think they're badass looking figures. But um, this is the NECA, pretty much a plastic, you know, bubble clam you get. It's got some decals on it, 300 King Leonidas there. Uh, bottom, nothing. On the side, you get this little picture. On the back, you get a picture of the figure. Looks like it's probably some other uh, people you can get in this series. And that's pretty much it. So this kind of package, I mean, you're pretty much going to have to just cut open to get it out. It's going to be trash after that. But let's pop them out, take a look, and also do some comparing. All right, so here he is out of the packaging. And uh, right off the bat, I'm a little disappointed in the articulation with this guy. I thought it was going to be a lot more than we actually do get. But first starting off with the accessories, he does come with this really nice shield. Looks really nice. Got some nice paint on it. Dinged all battled up this part is a little bit soft and this part's a little bit soft kind of rubber material but this is kind of like a hard you know plasticky kind of feel to it he does come with his sword which looks okay I mean it's not that great it does have a nice little you know uh, weathered look to it right here and it, this part does come off to get it through his hand and then connect that back after you put it through his hand. The spear is a little disappointing. I mean, it's pretty like this is just a straight brown color all the way through. So it is a little off putting because you kind of get this nice, you know, detail at the at the both ends of it. But really nothing going on on the actual pole part of it at all. Same deal. Pull this off. Put it through his hand. He does come with a another head, which, eh, you know, not the most impressive thing in the world, but it does have some nice paint on it. It does have some nice sculpting of the beard and the hair, the little rat tail there. And he does come with this little base with two pegs that you kind of have to force onto his feet to get him to go on there, but he does stand. I mean, you see the cape kind of holds him up. But this is, I guess, just for a little extra so he doesn't go falling over on your shelf. But all right, let's take a look at the figure. Now you see you got some nice detailing going on with the helmet and the, um, the sculpt underneath. And this is all kind of like a soft uh, rubber, so you can actually even pull this away from his face a little bit. Uh, this side is still glued on pretty well. This side was just, you know, they must not have put enough glue because it just kind of popped off. But you see this little mohawk thing looks pretty cool. Not bad. And you do get some movement. You get, you know, um, side to side. And you do get a tiny, tiny little bit of uh, hinge in there. And you do also get a little bit of tilt. Now you see the, the, the overall you know proportions and everything of it look good and there is a nice skin tone on the figure but man you can even see I don't know if you can see that but you can actually see the joint in there just painted over almost like they made it at first to have um, elbow joints in there but they just kind of said ah screw it I mean even right here because I thought in the packaging this was this was a cut you know like a point of articulation. Nope. So all you do get is a hinge and swivel. That's it, as far as the arms. So you can hinge out that much, and then of course it'll swivel all the way around. But that is it on both sides. So I mean, that's a little bit unfortunate because that really, you know, he's pretty much just gonna be in this position. And he's almost like a little bit like hunched over, it looks like. You know, like he's hunched over this way. You do get a um, waist twist. 
and his feet do you know swivel that's it no hinge no up and down no nothing so that's disappointing but anyway looking over the rest of the figure it does look pretty good i mean the skin tone looks nice skin tone looks nice his gauntlets look all right you know they got some little sculpting details in there on both sides his little sword scabbard thing looks good it's underwear his shin guards, you know, look just like the gauntlets. Kind of have that kind of like old rustic -y look to them. And then down to his sandals with his ugly toes. And then the back. A little bit sloppy paint work right here. And then this cape. Oh my God, this cape. This cape is just like this very, very thick, heavy rubber. It's very, very odd. I mean, it looks all right. It's got some nice sculpted lines in it, but it just looks like, I don't know, like dirty or something, which I guess, you know, it isn't bad, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this big, heavy rubber cape. Now, as far as popping the extra head off, let me see if I can pop this off without knocking anything over. Let's put this head sculpt on it. As you see, all we get is just a peg with a tiny little bit of a hinge in there. So this is the other head that comes with them. So I mean, not too bad once you get, a, get it on the body, but I do prefer this more kind of, you know, battle look. And the big thing that I wanted to do was compare this to the Figma. So this is the Figma, which, which is a nice figure. I'm going to review this figure as well. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little comparison of what we're looking at between the two figures. You do get a little bit more shading in the skin, whereas you get no shading on the Figma at all. They both have nice skin colors. But it is nice that NECA put a little bit more um, shading into the, the skin of them. Definitely much taller. Actually, let me measure. The NECA one is a little over six and a half inches. And that's probably even more with the um, other head on them. And of course, you know, the Figma was pretty small for, and he's actually standing on the base. And the top of his um, mohawk goes right about six inches. So definitely two different lines. Obviously, neck is more in that seven, eight inch line. Figma is kind of in the different size measurements. But still, you know, just to give you guys a little quick comparison of the two. But that is it, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And I will catch you on the next figure review.